Hello everyone and welcome back to Enchanted Bayou. My name is Cassandra. If you are new here, thanks so much for joining us. We will go over all the details of tonight's crazy spirit box session here in a minute. And if you are returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate all you guys out there and all the love and support I've been given lately. I know that I haven't kept a perfect recording schedule for some time now, but I'm hoping to get back to that. So I'll be seeing a lot of you and I'm excited to be talking to all of you. Anyway, let's get into tonight's video. Tonight, we're talking about Shane Dawson. Now I know Shane Dawson is more conspiracy theory. He does I guess you could say he's part of the beauty community too. He's done some stuff with Jeffree Star, but lately he's been doing haunted stuff and talking about the haunting that he's been having. Now, as any fan of Shane's would know, I guess, out there, I don't know if y'all are fans of Shane's per se, but if you've been a fan of Shane's for any time, you will know that he talks about the hauntings that he has around him. Now the hauntings have been following him for the last couple of houses that he's been living in. And so my thing is that I talk to dead people. Now how do I do that? Well the best way that I can talk to dead people so that you can hear what they're saying too is through a spirit box. This is a spirit box that I use. It's called a PSB7 and nothing fancy. It's just connected with a regular cord. And I can attach it to just a regular old speaker that I have. This works great. You can attach yours to any kind of speaker. Although if you're not into talking to the dead, I don't know that I would really recommend this. A lot of people are like, you know, they're scared of Ouija boards, but they have no problem doing spirit boxes. Well, unfortunately, when you start diving into the other world, you start diving into the other world and you can't always guarantee who you're talking to. So how do we know who we're talking to? Well, fortunately, I have two guides. Their names are Ethan and E. I know their voices very well. They're in every single one of my videos. And what I have done special for tonight's video is I have asked them to go over to Shane's house out in Colorado and see what is haunting the place. And then come back and tell us because we want to know. I want to know anyway, so I figured you guys probably want to know too. So... I've sent them over there already. They've been over there most of the day checking things out to see what's going on. And now we're going to ask them what Shane has haunting himself. Is it just a spirit? Is it multiple spirits? Is it more than spirits? We don't know. So I'm not inviting any of those spirits or any of the stuff that he has in his house. I'm not inviting any of it in my house. But I will welcome my guides back and they'll come through and we'll have them talk to the spirit box and yeah we'll get started here in a second one thing about my spirit box it is very loud and i know it's noisy there's not much i can do about it uh this is the way that my spirit guides like to use it so i don't change the settings on it it's just really loud and i do not edit my spirit box sessions because you know, sometimes you guys catch great things that maybe I missed or that my specialist missed and I want to know what you guys are hearing too. So my spirit boxes aren't edited out. I don't tamper with them in any way. I want them to be 100% raw so that you guys can hear exactly what I'm hearing and maybe even more. Another thing with my spirit box sessions is I have a specialist who does review them and he was in the Navy for 10 years. His job was to sit with headphones on his ears all day long and listen to radio static to make sure that we are protected from anything that was coming over the line. So he had to make sense in multiple languages uh, what was coming through the radio static. So he's been a great help when we're trying to speak Spanish or anything like that because he does know a couple languages as well as he's amazing at listening to the spirit box for us. So we will have him review this video, check this out for us, and anything that I hear, you're going to see it posted right up here. I'll make sure to leave it through the video, and yeah, I guess that's about it. I'm excited. I want to know what's going on over there. I'll tell you a little secret. I did do a spirit box a while back and asked Ethan and E what is going on at Shane Dawson's house, and I guess I'm a little nervous because it was not good it wasn't good at all. All I got was that there was a demon there. Now, do we talk to demons here? Well, 
ghost hunting, you're going to run across the demon every now and then. It's very, very rare, so it's not likely that we're going to run across the demon or anything creepy scary like that. So, don't worry there. But, yeah, they, they are definitely out there, and let's hope that Shane doesn't have one in his house. Because that would definitely not be a good thing to do. So, let's go ahead and jump into the spirit box session. Again, PSB7 right here. Hope you guys can see that. I'll put it a little closer to the camera for you. There you go. And let's go ahead and see if we can find out what's bothering Shane at his house. So get ready for the noise. If you're wearing headphones, this is the point to turn it down real quick. And then you can slowly adjust the volume. questions answered which that was one of the fastest spirit boxes I think I've ever done uh, but it sounded like we were getting amazing answers to all of the questions that we were asking of course at this point I don't know but you guys will have already seen up here everything that had been said after I have gone through this video and my specialist has gone through this video so are there other questions out there that you guys would have asked? If so, let me know in the comments below. I couldn't think anything. I was I was getting pretty good answers. So, yeah, it was kind of creeping me out a little bit. But if there is something that you want to ask, or Shane, if you're out there and this didn't go well, I'm so sorry. Can't help what the spirits are going to say. But at least this way, you can hear for yourself what the spirits say, not just me trying to tell you what they're saying. Uh, yeah. Anyway, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe. That helps me out a ton. And I hope everyone's doing really well. There will be a lot of good videos coming out for Halloween here soon. I am back on track, hopefully, and plan to stay that way. So I will be seeing you guys all around very soon. Love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.